Tadalafil is a phosphodiesterase inhibitor which is used for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. It is also commonly known under the brand name Cialis. This medicine is also used to treat symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia or an enlarged prostate. Tadalafil is used to improve the ability to exercise in people with pulmonary arterial hypertension. It works by increasing blood flow into the spongy erectile tissue of the penis that consequently allows it to grow in size and become erect and rigid. Now how to use this medication? First and foremost thing, consult your doctor before taking this medicine because there is rare but severe side effects and drug interactions with other medicines. To treat erectile dysfunction, take this drug by mouth as directed by your doctor. You can take this medicine with or without food. Take Tadalafil at least 30 minutes before sexual activity, but remember do not take more than once daily. Tadalafil is also sometimes taken once daily every day irrespective of your sexual activity timing. You may attempt sexual activity at any time between the doses. If you are taking Tadalafil on a regular schedule, then take it around the same time every day. Now the first thing that you should remember is to not take this medication without doctor's prescription, especially when you are taking medicine for heart disease. Taking Tadalafil with nitrate medicine can suddenly and severely decrease your blood pressure. It is usually taken 30 minutes to 1 hour before sexual activity. There are many side effects like chest pain, blood pressure changes, stomach ulcer, liver or kidney problems. Also, here are the two things you should remember if you are taking Tadalafil because these two problems need immediate medical attention. First thing, if your erection is painful or lasts longer than 4 hours, which is called as priapism in medical term, it can damage the penis. It is very rare and painful condition where blood gets trapped in the penis and is unable to drain through penile vessels. Now what to do in that situation? You can apply ice packs on the penis and perineum. If the priapism is non ischemic in nature, there is a chance that it will go away. However, most of the time it is ischemic in nature and the pain worsens with time. So in that situation, immediately visit or consult your doctor. Now next is if you have vision loss. Seek immediate medical attention if you face this type of problem. Also, if you are a heavy drinker, then you should make a note of this point. If you like a glass of wine or any other alcoholic beverages, then there shouldn't be any problem. But drinking more than that after taking Cialis could hamper your activity. Moderate to heavy drinking can make it harder for you to get an erection. Also, Cialis and alcohol both act as a vasodilator. Vasodilators are substances that lower your blood pressure by relaxing the walls of your blood vessels which then allow the blood vessels to open wider. Drinking too much alcohol while taking Cialis can lead to orthostatic hypotension. This can cause a headache, dizziness and fainting which can cause fractures or other injuries. Now let's talk about some other medications which can interact with Tadalafil. If you are also taking an alpha blocker medication such as doxazosin, tamsulin to treat an enlarged prostate or high blood pressure, your blood pressure may get too low which can lead to dizziness or fainting. Some other antifungal, antibiotic and antiviral medications can also interact with Tadalafil. So consult your doctor before taking Tadalafil if you are already on any other medications. Now here are some conditions when you should strictly avoid this medicine. If you have a previous history of allergy by taking this medicine then you should not take it again. If you have a history of painful erection then strictly avoid it. There are other conditions where you should avoid this medicine like multiple myeloma, leukemia, sickle cell anemia, pigmentary retinopathy, hearing loss, significant uncontrolled high blood pressure, a heart attack, a sudden worsening of heart related chest pain which is called angina, narrowing of aortic heart valve, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, life threatening irregular heart rhythm, chronic heart failure, a stroke, low blood pressure, liver problems, severe renal impairment and pyronis disease and many other conditions. Now let's talk about the dose. The daily dose is different for erectile dysfunction, benign prostatic enlargement and pulmonary hypertension. The usual dose for ED is 10 mg once a day. But never take two tablets at a time. The usual dose for prostate enlargement is 5 mg once a day and for pulmonary hypertension it is 40 mg. 
Tadalafil tablets for pulmonary hypertension come in 20 mg strength. So you will have to take two tablets at a time once a day. But remember, this dose can vary according to the severity and health conditions. So always consult your doctor before taking the medicine. Also, we have already made a video about sildenafil. Click the i button on the upper right corner of your screen to watch it. So that's all for today. Hope you liked our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.